Merci. Jesus and my old guitar, me and Jesus and my old guitar. I love to get along, pick my fingers to the bone, hope that God is patting his foot on the throne. Me and Jesus and my old guitar, me and Jesus and my old guitar. With these six little strings, I'm going to do my thing. Me and Jesus and my old guitar. Here we go. Jesus and my old guitar, me and Jesus and my Taylor guitar. I'd love to get along, pick my fingers to the bone, hope that God is patting his foot on the throne, me and Jesus and my old guitar.
Me and Jesus and my old guitar. With these six little strings, I'm going to do my thing. Me and Jesus, me and Jesus, me and Jesus and my old guitar. Me and Jesus, me and Jesus, me and Jesus and my old guitar. Now let's pick a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. It is so nice to be here tonight. Um, I know a lot of you don't understand. I won't say very much, but I love Dewey. <laughs> Beautiful. Wish. Oh. Uh, just beautiful, beautiful place. Freight train, freight train.
for Chad Atkins. Can I take off the coat? Okay. Thank you. I wore it just for you. But now that you know I have it, I will leave it here. Okay. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> I don't sing very much, but I will sing. Among the nations Be still Be still And know that I am God And I will be exalted In the earth times of tribulation and everything goes wrong we act upon our senses it seems all hope is gone let's just stop our crying and talking foolishly So we can hear his still small voice when he speaks so tenderly. Be still, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. Still, be still, oh, and know that I am God, and I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts, oh, he's with us. God of Jacob, he's our refuge. Be still, be still and know that I am God. And I will be exalted in the earth. I will be exalted in the
Thank you very much. My daughters uh, asked me to do some songs. And uh, that was some of the songs. And they asked me if I would do this for you tonight. <laughs> I hope you like it's a little wild. You understand wild? Okay. It's a little wild for me, but I'll get to something from Grand Ole Opry in just a second, but uh, we'll do some U2. <laughs>
Okay. That's as wild as I'll get tonight. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, that's like banjo, you know. So I had to bring you something from Tennessee tonight. It's banjo music. Okay, here's another song. I play this a lot on the Grand Ole Opry. It, it was made popular by Roy Acuff called the Wabash Cannonball. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you very much. do a song for you that I had not planned on doing. Visitation. Thank you very much. Reggie, 
This is Reggie up here. Reggie, come here, please. Where did you go? He's coming. The name of the song I just played was called The Visitation. We're going to do White Rose for Heidi. Come here. Say hello. Hi, Reggie. You know Reggie. He's our friend, isn't he? Un, deux, un, deux. Excusez-moi. Reggie. Euh, Is that good? Reggie. <rire> Donc, Doyle m'a demandé de, de venir pour, pour traduire euh, ce qu'il va dire. Et c'est à propos d'une, d'une chanson qu'il a composée. Il a une petite histoire là-dessus. Donc, en fait, je lui ai dit, bah, écoute, tu sais, hein, à Douai, tout le monde comprend l'anglais. Mais en fait, il n'y a que ma mère qui ne comprend pas. Donc, en fait, je vais traduire pour ma, pour ma mère. Quoi. <rire> Are you being nice? Mais c'est une très, très, très jolie histoire. <rire> Thank you, Reggie. Um... I, my wife Rita and I have been married 31 years this year. Il est marié donc avec sa femme euh, qui s'appelle Rita depuis 31 ans. That's pretty good for a guitar player. I think. <laughs> Je vous traduis pas. <laughs> We have four children: Heidi, Holly, Haley, and Caleb, our son. Et il a quatre enfants donc euh, Heidi, euh, Holly, Haley comme la comète, <laughs> et good. un garçon euh, Caleb. Yeah, Caleb. Caleb plays guitar. He's 15 years old. Caleb joue de la guitare, il a 15 ans. And he's almost as tall as you. He's bigger than me. Et il est plus grand que moi. <laughs> And uh, one night I came in late from a trip. Donc euh, une nuit, euh, je, je, une nuit, voilà, un voyage, euh, voilà. How do you say that? Yeah. And C'est pas important ça. <coughs> I played with Holly and Haley till Three o'clock in the morning, just played with my daughters till three o'clock. Donc il jouait avec ses filles jusqu'à jusqu'à trois heures du matin. So we always said a prayer at bedtime. Et il avait alors il faut oui donc il avait en fait il a il a fait des prières parce qu'il faut, faut vous expliquer que que Doyle il joue la guerre mais il a, il a aussi été pasteur aux États-Unis. Là, Wait a minute, I said this, you said this. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Okay. So, je vais expliquer ça, c'est important. Ok, c'est ok. And uh, <laughs> oh, where was I? Oh, wait, ok. Um, Holly was only two years old and Heidi was four years old. Parce que Heidi avait quatre ans et, et, et Holly deux ans. So Holly fell asleep before the end of the prayer. Voilà, donc <coughs> Holly voulait dormir et dormait avant sa prière. But Heidi was wide awake. Mais Holly, euh, vous avez compris. Un petit peu plus, un peu plus sauvage. <laughs> I, uh, I said, Heidi, it's very late. You must go to sleep. But she just looked at me. Donc Holly, tu dois yeah. aller dormir. And uh, I said, I felt bad. I said, was there something you wanted to ask for uh, from God very special? Something special from God? Et est-ce que, tu, est-ce que tu, tu peux demander à Dieu quelque chose de spécial Est-ce que tu as quelque chose à demander à Dieu et quelque chose de spécial She says, I've always wanted a rose and I've never had one. Elle, donc la petite a dit, je, 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 je prends avoir une, une rose. Do you think God would bring me a rose She asked me. Dieu, Dieu ramène-moi une rose. And so we ask God for a rose for Heidi. Et nous avons demandé à Dieu une rose pour Heidi. I forgot about the rose the next day. Mais le problème c'est que le, le, le lendemain, il a complètement oublié l'histoire au sujet de la rose de, de ce... And later that night at prayer time, we were fixing to pray again. Donc le, 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 le lendemain rebelote, euh, je fais une rose. <laughs> and she je looked fais court, at hein. <laughs> That's good. She looked at me and said and started to cry and her lips Alors, elle a regardé, elle a dit, bah, qu'est-ce que ça veut dire J'ai pas eu ma rose et tout. Euh, c'est dégueulasse. Et she asked, how come God didn't bring my rose to me today Comment ça se fait que Dieu n'a, n'a pas rapporté ma rose aujourd'hui Yeah. And I did not know what to say. Je sais pas quoi te dire. So, I said, we didn't mention the color. Ah ouais, the mais rose. t'as oublié de me dire quelle couleur tu la voulais ta rose. That's all I can think of. And she says, I was thinking of a white one. Ben oui, je voulais, je te dis, je voulais une, une rose blanche. So we ask God for a white rose. Je demandais à Dieu une, une rose blanche. I could hardly sleep that night thinking about it. Voilà. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. The next day I got up and I thought of uh, calling the florist or the flower shop down the street to send one or ask a friend to drop a rose, a white rose by Donc, the house. Le lendemain, il est allé voir au fleuriste ou il a demandé à un copain s'il pouvait lui trouver une rose blanche en fait pour sa fille. I had to go out of town to play a concert that night. Il a joué à un concert le, le, un peu plus tard, quelques jours plus tard. Une nuit. <coughs> But I didn't call anyone. Et j'ai rien demandé du tout. And I played the small concert. Il a joué sur, lors d'un petit concert. It was at a church. Dans une église. And I thought everyone had left. I was putting my guitars in the cases. I thought there was no one else left in the building. Everyone had left. Tout le monde, euh, ouais, j'avais laissé donc euh, ma guitare euh, dans, dans, dans sa caisse. And I heard ask, Are you Doyle Dykes? Et il y a quelqu'un à la fin du concert qui est venu le voir et puis euh, il vous êtes euh, Doyle Dykes. And I thought, well, that's nice. After my concert, you know. Donc après son concert, euh, cette personne est venue le voir. And I said yes, and she was holding a little package in her hand. Something wrapped up in donc, a cylinder package. Voilà, donc cette euh, dame en fait est, est venue le voir avec un, un, un petit paquet. And she walked towards me and she said God told me to bring you this from my garden today. Et elle a dit voilà, je, je suis venu vous ramener euh, un petit cadeau pour vous et donc que, que, que j'ai pris dans mon jardin parce que Dieu me l'a demandé. And I could tell by the way she walked and the way she acted that she was Special. She was like a child. Et je me suis dit c'est peut-être quelque chose de spécial quoi. Mais bon, je ne savais pas she, trop. But she was a grown woman, but she was. Ouais, en like fait, c'était une dame donc qui, comme il m'expliquait, euh, qui, qui avait à peu près 35 ans, mais 8-9 ans euh, d'âge mental. And she handed me the package and I said, "Thank you. I'll enjoy eating this from your garden." <rire> donc j'ai pris le paquet j'ai dit merci je vais, je vais me délecter de, de, de ce paquet qui vient de Dieu mais il a quand même regarder, regarder ce qu'il y a dedans quand même quoi, alors que lui bon et dans le paquet il y avait une rose blanche en fait il connaissait pas la personne. And I looked at that little lady and I looked at the rose and I felt ashamed because I don't think I would have chosen her to bring the rose. You understand? No. Okay. En fait, il a... oui. Anyway, she brought the rose. The next day I brought the rose home to Heidi and she was so excited. Voilà. God brought my rose to voilà. me. Voilà, donc il a ramené la rose le lendemain à sa fille et elle a dit bah, Dieu Dieu a apporté ma rose. It's those types of stories that have helped me as a father. Mais cette histoire est formidable pour lui en tant que père, forcément. And as a person, I think. C'est la raison pour laquelle il a écrit donc cette chanson qui s'appelle Right Rose for Heidi. Thank you. <laughs>
White Rose for Heidi, thank you very much. Holly and Haley, come. Today, Heidi is a nurse. She's 27 years old, and she is a nurse in Florida. And uh, I just spent the weekend with Heidi, for those that can understand. She's a nurse anesthetist. She, you know, puts people to sleep for the doctor. To put I think Heidi and I... Or a lot of like, I think I put people to sleep sometimes with my guitar, you know. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, our youngest daughter, Haley. Say hi, Haley. <laughs> I call her Miss Haley. This is Miss Haley. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, give me an E, please. Okay. This is our daughter, Holly. Say hi, Holly. Uh, yeah, whatever you want to do. I think you're okay. Whatever. Move it wherever it feels good to you. Getting settled. <laughs> Our van was too little. We had to leave Holly's guitar. So, okay. We almost Here. had to leave Holly. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. You can laugh now. <laughs> Holly uh, is getting funny married. <laughs> Very funny in English. <laughs> <laughs> Holly is getting married to a Frenchman from Caen. Yes. Is Fred here? Fred, come here. My new son. This is Fred Roussel from France. We love you, Fred. My friend. <laughs> oh, thank you. He also plays very good guitar. Okay, Haley, get a sound check. <laughs> And this is Matt. Say hi, Matt. <laughs> okay. I know this is a guitar uh, finger style convention, but I am so proud of my daughters. And uh, when I would go play for Chet Atkins, I would always have Holly and Haley, Miss Haley. 
and Chad Atkins always love to hear them sing. Also, Marcel Dadi love to hear Holly and Haley love Marcel as well as me. We love Marcel. We saw Marcel um, only three days before he died, and uh, Holly says, "Dad, I must get Marcel to sign something." And I said, "Better you better hurry." Because it's now or never. And I didn't, I didn't know what I was saying because uh, Marcel died the next, the next week, a few days later. But uh, we loved him, and I think he loved us, and we were good friends with Marcel. And uh, so we remember him, too, tonight. Haley, play a little something again, if you will. Do something young. Let me know that you need me There's 
the truth in your eyes saying you'll never leave me the touch of your hand says you'll catch me if ever i fall you say it best when you say nothing at all Stay there, please. It's okay. Thank you, Haley. Holly, give me an E there. It's a cowboy and cowgirl song. I wrote this long time ago. It's called Twin Six Shooters. Okay.
Nice. Thank you, Holly. <laughs>
You'll have patience with me. I'll play one more song for you. You've been so nice. I want to say a special thanks to Reggie and all the people from the Thumb Pickers Club, Dewey Thumb Pickers Club. Is that right? Yeah. I think that's good. <laughs> and for those that can understand me, I mean, I'd just like to say... Um, I like to do all types of music, and I, one reason I do the things that, that for young people especially, uh, I mean, I guess I'm not a young person anymore. And uh, for those that can hear, I, <clears throat> I got my first senior discount coffee the other day without asking for it. They gave me a senior's discount. So I guess my hair is turning and my age is showing. But I try to do songs, some of the songs tonight, tried to do something that uh, I think we should keep finger picking for young people too. And uh, it's, it's good for all of us guys like 
the baby boomers like me that love Chet and Marcel and we're all this, but like people, young people coming up like Fred that's playing fingerstyle guitar and many other young people, I think it's a good thing. There he is, uh, my friend Pierre. I love you. You are a wonderful man. You're just a wonderful guy. Thank you again. It was a special treat to, tonight also to be on the same stage and an honor to be on this stage with Joseph and um, also Christian. Can I call him Joe and Chris? and all the other wonderful guitar players that were here tonight. Music is a gift from heaven, and it's so nice to be able to share it with people around the world who love music and love the guitar. And keep playing, all you guitar players, keep playing and play for other people and go out and use your gifts and make people smile. Don't just play in your house but go around and play for people. Sometimes I play for people who are sick. They can't get out of the house. Not everything I do is with posters and tickets and, or television or something. We do things uh, that are not announced for sometimes in uh, retirement centers or family reunions or schools, but play your guitar and use your gift.
Thank you. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. God bless you. Dice.